Broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everyone. It's Tim Wilmore here from Wizard Systems. Thanks for joining me today for our first Goldmine 101 of 2019 and our regular series of short Goldmine presentations focusing on different Goldmine topics. This morning, I'm going to cover how to display public holidays in your Goldmine calendar. Now, this presentation will be fairly short, about 10 minutes, quarter of an hour or so um, in duration. It's just an overview of this, this calendar feature, not meant to be an in-depth uh, training session as such. My company, Wizard Systems, offer many training options should you want to explore those with us. Now, the audio part of this presentation is one way only, um, which you might have gathered. If you've got any questions, please type those into the question box on your meeting control panel. I'll try and do my best to answer those at the end of the call very shortly. Probably best to type them in as you think of them rather than waiting till the, the very last moment. But if any late questions come in, I'll answer those separately via email. Uh, also, towards the end, I'll be giving you an update on any Goldmine product news as I've got it, just to keep you in the loop with what's happening on the Goldmine scene. Um, the call is being recorded, so you will get an email from our system with a link to the, uh, the, the call, the presentation. Um, normally about a day or so um, after the end, and we'll probably pop it up on our YouTube channel as well. Okay, so let's get started. Quick mention about Wizard Systems. I know many of you on the call um, are currently working with us, have done for a number of years. Um, thank you very much um, for, for your support, but we have um, a business here focused on CRM and Goldmine. Um, all we do is is this, and we have a number of services around Goldmine as regards implementation, upgrades, training, um, and all the ongoing support as well. Plus, we do supply a range of popular add-on applications to Goldmine to further extend um, what it does. Okay, so public holidays in your Goldmine calendar. Let me just pop into Goldmine here. Okay, so what I'm displaying here is the Goldmine calendar. And um, in the UK, uh, I know most of you are in the UK, but we have the uh, a number of bank holidays that can be displayed on your Goldmine calendar for all users to see. Very simple process to pop them in. Um, normally, I, I guess a lot of people would do it at this sort of time of year, so we thought it was pertinent to um, be running this, this, uh, this topic. Um, as as it's uh, th this time of year to to update your calendars. So Good Friday, this is the the day view. Friday, nineteenth um, of April, and when you put in these public holidays, um, you'll get this sort of notification right at the top of the day. Well, that's the day view. Let me go to the week view down the bottom here. Week view, there we are, right at the top there. Pretty obvious for most people to see. Um, that that is a bank holiday and likewise the month you'll get that view as well now in some other views year planner outline it won't appear um, I believe it just appears in the day week and month I know some Goldmine users do this if I just fast forward to the next week and Easter Monday um, some people may block out the kind of like this. Well, that's okay, but you've got to do it for each um, user, unless you're viewing multiple users' calendar, um, <clears throat> excuse me, at the same time. A um, little bit of an onerous task. It's quite easy to pop them in one at a time, and they'll appear as this sort of shaded um, block at the top of that, uh, of that day. How do you do it? Very simple. Normally, the administrator would do this. So just have one person doing this, um, as I say, probably at the beginning of the year um, is a good time or the end of the year. But you pop down to, you right click over your calendar. And from the local menu, you select options. And then you go down to calendar options here. That pops up um, your options. And down here, in the bottom left corner, we've got holidays. If I click on that. Up comes now there's a few other things here, but basically holidays in this section here, you can actually create a number of different profiles or categories. So I've created one already. 
Um, if you don't have one there, you're going to have to click on that new button first of all and give it some kind of meaningful name. And then when you've done that, you can then pop in for the current year. You could go ahead if you want, if you know 2020. Um, for the current year, pop in all of your holidays. You basically click on that new button and pop in the the public holiday name. Um, be a bit careful with this repeating function and, and duration. Um, certainly in the UK, these bank holidays, unless it's the 25th of December, these bank holidays like Easter, they do fall on different days each year. So you've got to be a bit careful with using that repeat function. But very simply, you pop in that, um, that date there and click OK. And it will then be displayed. So very, very simple. Um, there is also an import feature, which you can import it from an icon. I haven't personally tried that myself. Um, it's so easy once you know them. If you just go to the .gov.uk website, there's a number of different websites where you can see uh, the, the, your, your um, country's public holidays displayed. Just, just gather them all together and, and pop them in. Just takes a few minutes and it's, that's job done. So there we are, um, public holidays displayed in your goldmine calendar um, rather than rather than sort of highlighting it in a user's calendar, which you might do for you know personal holidays, but public holidays are done like that. Okay, so um, I'd now like to, as this is a short call, um, if you've got any questions around this um, function or any Goldman questions at all, please um, uh, pop those questions into the meeting control panel. I'll do my best to answer those. Um, okay, question from Terry. Um, talking about calendars, can I link to Google Gmail? Um, Certainly Gmail. Um, yes, you can integrate your emailing system within Goldmine with Gmail. We've got, uh, we, we have actually done a blog on that um, up on our Goldmine blog um, on how to do that. Quite straightforward to manage and see your, your Gmails within Goldmine. Uh, Google Calendar, yes, you, there, there is a way of integrating with that, um, importing, exporting to your Google Calendar. So yes, you can. Um, next question from, uh, it looks like Cullen. Uh, we need something more than the built-in sync with Outlook. Um, I guess you mean the Outlook uh, calendar there. Is there anything available? Um, Yes, there is. Uh, there's a very popular solution that we, and, and I mentioned add-ons earlier on. It's a very popular add-on to Goldmine called Reva. And this, this links Goldmine with Microsoft Exchange. So if you've got Exchange, it actually can link to um, Google and Gmail as well. So it might partly answer um, uh, Terry's question. So Reva is an add-on that is installed on your server by us, very straightforward. And in the background, it will automatically link your Outlook calendar with your Goldmine calendar in a two-way direction. So if somebody puts something into Outlook, it will automatically rapidly appear in Goldmine and vice versa. And any changes as well, as well as putting in new things, um, any changes will replicate through to the other systems. So that's Reva. I'll send you details about that, Cullen. Um, after the call. Okay, I don't think there's any more questions coming through. Um, just like to give you an update on any Goldmine news as I have you on the call. Uh, we're running a marketing course next, next Wednesday will be um, to do with all the different marketing options that you've got available in Goldmine. We'll go through some of the email marketing options advanced filters and groups, creating lists, um, reporting and dashboards on your marketing activities, uh, linking to social media sites like LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook as well. So that's on our marketing course um, next Wednesday. Please contact any of us here at Wiz Assistance for details. Latest Goldmine version, there it is there, quite a lot of numbers, but basically um, 
Goldmine goes through the, the, the major releases are uh, relating to the uh, so latest release is 2018.2. And then you get these hot fixes through the year. Um, normally every two months, three months or so, uh, with little little fixes to any issues that might have occurred. Um, and so we've, we're, the latest one is Hot Fix 2, so we're expecting Hot Fix 3 um, any time now. Um, Hot Fix 2 came out last October's time, so we are expecting a Hot Fix 3 imminently. Um, and there's the actual Hot Fix release there for you. Uh, we do normally notify up on our Goldmine blog. Um, mention the Goldmine blog again. Let me just um, pop into that. Um, so here's our Goldmine blog. Uh, hundreds of hints and tips up there on, on our Goldmine blog. It's the most active Goldmine blog um, anywhere. So any information you want to know about Goldmine, subscribe. Please subscribe to the blog. Um, we, we do normally push our emails on significant upgrades, but little minor things. Um, we're popping a little little posting there just to keep everyone, the, all the subscribers, um, up to date with, with any of these sort of minor hotfix releases. Um, so please email me for any suggestions on future topics, anything that you think might be of interest um, to the goldmine community at large. Uh, also, uh, we are going to be running um, in January and February, we're going to be running some free online CRM reviews. I'm not sure what, exactly what we're going to call it, but we're going to be um, uh, scheduling calls individually with you to review your goldmine system. Um, you don't have to if you don't want to, but it, it is a free service. And uh, we'd love to um, spend a bit of quality time go reviewing your, your current system, how it's set up, looking at any... Um, little issues that, that you've got, objectives of using the system going forwards for this year and, and beyond. And come up with, um, together, come up with a plan, put something in writing to you for a, a kind of short term or longer term um, plan for its development and making sure it's useful, it's, it's, it's continued use to your company. So um, keep a lookout for the invitation email to that um, service. Say it, uh, it will be run during January and February, I believe. And uh, so stay tuned. We'll look out for an email from us uh, with more detail on the service. And we'll most likely put it up on the blog as well. So um, thanks very much for your time this morning. So well, it was only a short call, um, but uh, a belated Happy New Year to everyone. Thanks for your support. And we look forward to speaking with you in due course. Thanks very much indeed. Bye-bye.